Welcome back, YouTuber. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add additional memory to a Lenovo touchscreen computer and replace the old hard drive with an SSD. So here's the touchscreen computer. Um, how to determine what kind of specs it needs. You would need to look at the back of it, uh, the machine type, um, that's the model number. You can search on Google and find out the specs. Just find out how much memory you can add on. And currently you can see that this one only has four gigabyte of memory. So we're gonna add another, another stick to it, which will bring it up to eight gigabyte of memory. These are the parts that we purchased. Samsung, one terabyte SSD. You definitely need a mounting bracket because this is a 2.5 inch and um, the regular hard drive is 3.5 inch. And here's the uh, memory stick. You have flathead screwdriver and screwdriver. The question is how can you open this up? There's no screws to it. Um, simply lift this up and uh, put your hands right here and grab onto this with your finger and then pull it back. Same over here. Grab it, pull it back. And this will come off. It's on the side. And the memory slot will be over here. This is the reason why you would need um, a flathead maybe. Oh, maybe not. Just basically put your finger in here press, pull it out. And just gonna take this out. Keep in mind before touching anything, touch on the metal instead of statics. You don't wanna shock the, uh, the part. So how do you figure it out um, what kind of part to purchase? Well, you can always remove this and then just Google this, the serial number of the part and it'll tell you which one it is and you can purchase this anywhere that you like. Um, very simple to put this on. It's like a laptop memory. So you see this little cut right here. Just simply place it right there. Press it in. Then you press it down. That's it for the memory. And put this back. All right, now we're gonna focus on the hard drive. For the hard drive, just press this, and you can check it out. Just pull this back. Just now you have it. So here it is. This is the mounting bracket. This is the hard drive. The screws that came with it. <clears throat> and this is the old hard drive, the original hard drive. So if you're placing it in such a way that you know, when you're putting the new hard drive in, this will line up. So in this case, it's gonna be all the way in the bottom. some screws on. All it would be nice to have a magnetized screwdriver. I don't, but I'm gonna use this tip. So here it is. Good. Just basically just pull this out. And put this on top. Looks good. Okay. 
here. That goes in. And slide us, slide us in here. These hinges will go in through here. Press it down, it will lock it up. And that's all. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna close it yet. But just so you know, all you have to do is slide it in like that and then slide it through. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna test to make sure the computer is working. So here it is. I'm gonna turn it on. Make sure that it runs or power it on. It's good. And here it is, a gig of RAM. But it's way faster than before. All right, if you ask me, is it worth it to upgrade the memory and um, the SSD, I would definitely say yes. It's only cost uh, roughly $120. Um, we purchased that from Amazon. I will provide the links on the description. Um, with $120 more, you get more power. Um, uh, it's way faster than before. Um, booting it up took around uh, 17 seconds. Um, just to load into Windows. Um, I also reinstall the OS, uh, which may be a good idea because, you know, um, you want to start everything fresh. And then I transfer all the old data from the old hard drive. And, you know, if you want, you can always turn that uh, internal hard drive into an external by purchasing a uh, enclosure. And, you know, you can make that like a USB portable drive. Um, so it's your choice. Uh, I hope you like the video. I hope this is helpful. If you like, please like it, share it, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.